This is the B final. The B final, yes. And we'll have okay. Max, Maxwell Scalamandre in lane one from Long Island Aquatic Club. Adam Kerr from Poseidon is in lane two. Jack Galbraith from Machine Aquatics in lane three. Your top qualifier in this B final is Patrick Madden of Nova Virginia. He'll be in lane four. Jake DeMartle from Upper Dublin in lane five. Lawrence Redmond from Nation's Capital will take ownership of lane six. Adam Capusta from Long Island Aquatic Clubs in lane seven. And Brendan Farrar from Poseidon will round out our B final here in lane eight. And your B final on that one. Just looking at the first 25 here, it seems like some of the swimmers have shifted over to the one side of the lane. Like, for example, in lane six, Redman is kind of shifting over to one side. Lane two, Kerr kind That's of... That's what you don't want. You, well, I, I, I don't mind that necessarily as long as you stay there. If you drift there off the start or off one all turn, they, that's all, okay. they all look like they're circle swimming, actually. Right. Well, now they do, now that they've gotten a little bit into the race. But I think it's okay if you're hugging a lane line. It's not terrible as long as you stay there once you get there. So my issue is whenever I'm just going for a swim and someone's like, hey, let's uh, split the lane. And if there's backstroke, I'll be like, well, I don't really want to because I, I have, I, because I'm so used to circle swimming, I kind of spot the lane line out of my left eye, yeah. I think. So I'm, I'm, I, I always, it's always weird when I'm, when right. I'm uh, on one side or the other. Obviously, you know, swimming down the middle is the goal, but I guess you always kind of, you feel more comfortable if you can see that lane line out of the corner of your eye, especially when you're outdoors, which right. you are in, uh, where, where I live in Arizona, a lot more than you are, say, here in the Potomac Valley region. As uh, this is Demartiel at 122.17 in lane five. He was a 151.95 this morning, so should be on pace to go a little faster than that. Redmond right there behind him. In lane six, yep, and a good last turn. Though these guys, you can tell getting over, it's like, oh, just get me over, just get me home. We want to be done with this meet. Looks like a battle for second now as DeMartel gets in there. He'll probably win this race. Check, check, old. Galbraith in lane three is going to come up and get second. 151.05 for your winner and 151.48 for Galbraith. He, who gets second? Home in a 27.9. Wow. Redmond was in there for third at 151.15. 